Top 10 African Countries with the Most Natural Resources in Africa Africa is known to be blessed with numerous natural minerals and rich soils, and there are multiple locations in many countries where you can find these minerals in unimaginable quantities. In fact, Africa is home to the major amount of mineral deposits in the world, and this makes room for more natural resource industries in the world, located in Africa. While the continent may not be as rich in other things, it is clearly extremely fertile, and wealthy in terms of natural mineral resources. Tracing back in history, it is quite obvious that the colonial conflicts between Africa and the West were caused by the natural wealth of Africa's soil. Nowadays, the governments of those countries which are rich in minerals need to learn how to put them to proper use and boost the economic development of their countries through exports. In particular, African countries are the leaders in such minerals like diamonds, platinum, zirconium, cobalt, bauxite, and others. The mining of these natural resources has significantly decreased in the latest years, but this does not deny the fact that African mineral potential is really rich and can be used for the best economic purposes by the governments. Here you can see 10 countries that are especially wealthy in their natural resources. All of them have a big supply of valuable minerals, and they can potentially export them all over the world. In no particular order, here is a summary of the top 10 African countries that have the most deposits of natural resources on the African continent. Before we continue, permit me welcome you to Positive Africa. Here on this channel, our main goal is to bring out the best about our beloved African continent by means of information and education. Consider subscribing if you are new, so you never miss out on any of our videos. This country has been a home to the largest underground mine in the world, where one can extract uranium. Lately, Niger has received a lot of benefits from selling their raw minerals on the world's market even though uranium still brings them the biggest income. Niger supplies 44% of African uranium all over the world, and this makes the country one of the richest in this mineral. 40% of all Niger's exports are from uranium trade, which helps increase the national economy. Being a naturally radioactive mineral, uranium is useful in producing nuclear weapons. This is why Korea and China mostly benefit from Niger's natural resources and trade with them. Apart from this material, Niger also has many other useful ones in stock, like coal, gold, and cement. The whole mineral potential of Niger has really attracted a lot of buyers to the country where they can export their resources. Here is another country that is a productive uranium supplier. In fact, it proudly holds the fourth place in the world at uranium. China's biggest investment on the African continent is their mining company in Namibia, which specializes in uranium. It is estimated that 15 million pounds of uranium oxide can be produced out of Namibian resources. International companies are invested in the country's uranium resources for the production of energy. Uranium was first discovered in the desert Namibia, and its exploration began in 1960. The Democratic Republic of Congo has one of the richest deposits of mineral resources. Since 1960, DRC has been known for its mineralization as one of the most industrialized countries in Africa. In 2010, the government made a decision to suspend the mining of minerals because they had to investigate the legality of the treasure theft. In 2011, about 20 foreign mining enterprises were functioning in the country. DRC is endowed with oil, copper, coltan, cobalt, gold, diamonds, and other natural minerals. If you wanted to know what the richest African country in copper is, it is, beyond dispute, Zambia. 
It is known for being a number one copper producer and supplier it produces 77% of African copper. Zambia is also a place where Copper Belt, the mass copper production region, is situated. Also, this country has the biggest underground mine on the whole continent, which has 10,000 workers. Generally, this mine produces about 300,000 tons of copper annually. There are other minerals in Zambia, the production of which is smaller than copper, but still quite impressive. These are emerald and cobalt. The whole world is aware that South Africa's economy has risen in the past couple of decades because of its rich mineral industry, especially the natural resources of precious minerals. There are large amounts of diamonds and gold deposited in South Africa, and they have really contributed to the nation's development. According to the historical facts, the Anglo Ball will broke out because people have discovered huge deposits of gold in Witwatersrand. The mineral industry annually adds 20% to the GDP of South Africa, and the income per year is approximately 550 billion rands. Apart from gold and diamonds, which South Africa is so popular for, there is plenty of other minerals like platinum, copper, uranium, vanadium, coal, chromium, iron, zirconium, nickel, and many others. Mozambique is a diverse country when it comes to natural resources, because it has got a lot of them. But the most common natural mineral in this country is, without doubt, aluminum. The annual production of it is approximately 580,000 tons, which is a huge number. Consequently, it forms 30% of the country's exports. Aside from aluminum, Mozambique also exports beryllium and tantalum all over the world. Mozambican soil is rich in limestone, cement, marbles, gemstones, coals, iron, gold, oil, gas, and steel. All of these minerals have made the economy of the country more stable, and their production has become really active in the past years. The important part of Guinea's natural potential is bauxite, which the country clearly holds leadership in. Actually, the production of bauxite really contributes to the production of aluminum. Bauxite is an important ingredient of aluminum. Guinea is a clear leader in bauxite potential and export, producing 95% of the entire bauxite production of Africa. The country is followed by Mozambique and Ghana respectively. Except for Guinea, which produces the natural ingredient for aluminum, all the other countries use the synthetically made product. As the name of the country implies, Tanzania is the only supplier in the world of the rare gemstone called Tanzanite. Except for that, the country also produces gold it is the fourth richest country in Africa in terms of gold. Throughout the decades, the gold mining industry of Tanzania fluctuated. This was happening until the 90s when some famous foreign companies decided to invest in the Tanzanian treasures. Nowadays, they have the standard mines multiplied to enhance investment and development of their resources. While agriculture is a large contribution to the economy of the country, the gold and Tanzanite trade does, too. Mineral exports really help and boost the Tanzanian economic conditions. Currently, Ghana is the largest producer of gold in Africa. Ghana can owe their successes to establishing more golden mines with modern facilities. There are about 100 enterprises that specialize in gold mining. Ghana exports its gold abroad, and this helps to enhance its economy. This country's economy highly depends on mining, and this is why the mining industry there is in the process of development.
Botswana has huge resources of gem diamonds, which is the main focus of its export. It has become the large supplier of diamonds, which trades with many countries all over the world. Even though the main competitor of the country in the sphere of diamonds is Angola, Botswana still holds a major place among the known diamond producers in Africa. Except for diamonds, the country is also leading in coal production, which in turn is used for the production of synthetic fuels. Why not check out this playlist if you want to get more insights about the African continent. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Positive Africa for more informative and educational videos about the African continent. Thanks for watching, God bless you and see you in the next video.